This is Tilted K Homestead. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a bunch of batches of apple crisp. And uh, we're going to freeze it. So the other day we went to the apple orchard and got a bushel and a half of apples. So I'm going to take pretty much one bag, cut them up. I think I got three different pans that I can use and I'm going to make apple crisp. It's super easy and uh, I'm going to bring you guys along for it. So let's get started. So first we've got to core and peel all our apples. Now Missy has this cool little tool here and you just take your apple and flip it over and press this down through pull it out and voila takes the core off apples cut up. I've got three pans of apples here. So they're filled up to about, I don't know, half inch from the top of the pan. And all we're going to do is, I do this by taste. You can do it however you want. I'm going to say maybe one teaspoon see how that looks. Let's actually go with one and a half teaspoons of sugar for each pan. These are these are like nine by nine pans. And then a little cinnamon. Just a little shake of cinnamon on top. Don't need a lot. Then, I'm just going to kind of stir that in, get that all coated on everything. Pretty simple, easy to do, just like that. Now, for this recipe, I am using McCombs, Red Delicious, and uh, Cortland's. So, like, these ones have a lot of McCombs and Cortland's in it. These two have uh, more Red Delicious and Cortland. But they all 
have a mixture of all three. So there's my three pans. Those are ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ingredients together and I'm going to show you how I make the topping. All right, so I got all my ingredients for my crisp topping. It's pretty basic. It's just three things. Sugar, flour, and melted butter. So the recipe that I've always made calls for one, one, and one. One cup of sugar to one cup of flour to one stick of butter. But this time around, I'm going to try and make our crumble on the top a little fluffier, a, less, a little less hard. So I'm actually going to put in four cups of sugar. And then I'm going to put in five cups of flour. because the sugar once you put it in the oven is what um, really makes it get um, harder more candy like and then in here I've got four sticks of melted butter <coughs> and I'm gonna mix this up before I pour it all in Now it's getting there. Put the rest of our butter in. And now I'm going to mix this all up until it gets to a good crumble. Now you can use a blender, you can use whatever you want to do this. I'm just going to use a fork. It seems to work just as fine. So, let me get this all mixed up, and I will show you what that's going to look like in the end. Alright guys, so I've got my crumble pretty much mixed up here. Why don't you come take a look? And this is exactly the consistency I was looking for. I wanted it to, to be real crumbly. I didn't want a lot of big chunks like this. I wanted it more the consistency it's in so I think we're pretty good to go so at this point what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of cinnamon it's to taste and I'm gonna add that in there and then I'm gonna mix that in so we get that all throughout it. There we go. And we're going to put some cinnamon on top after anyway. So we're about ready to put some over our apples. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your apples are right down in there as good as they can go. Try and make sure there's not too many kit gaps. Okay. And then you just take your crumble and you just pour it over it until you get it the thickness that you want it to be. Now I like a pretty thick crumble on my apple crisp. So we're going to add some more of it. Make sure it gets all down in there. Okay. 
just like that. Then a little sprinkle of cinnamon just to top it off and give it a nice color. Just like that. And that's one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these other two topped off and then we're going to put them in the oven. Now these are going to go in the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. So I'm going to get these topped up. I'm going to get the oven preheated, get them in the oven. And when they're ready to come out of the oven, we'll come back and we'll show you what the finished product looks like. Hey guys, the timer is going to go off any second and I wanted to take a couple of moments to uh, thank you for watching our videos and uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. So this is all part of us preparing ourselves for when we go down to our homestead. For those of you who have followed our channel you know that we're up in southern New England now we're at our cabin that we stay at fall winter and spring we stay in our camper at a campground uh, for the three months of summer and we have five acres down in northern Arkansas in the Ozarks and that is where our homestead is I'll leave a link to some videos the last time we were down there we cleared two acres um, but this is all prep for when we go down there so that not only Missy is comfortable with canning and preserving food but I am comfortable with it as well it's just gonna be the two of us down there same as it's just the two of us up here and we uh, we enjoy working together so what I'm gonna do is oh those are gonna come out right about now there it goes. All right, let's pull those babies out of there and see what they look like. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, that is our apple crisp. Pretty easy recipe. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to let it completely cool overnight on the stove. After that, we're going to put it, put saran wrap over the top and we're going to put it in the freezer. And we'll put that in the freezer for the day tomorrow. Pull it out. It'll be nice and firm then cut into squares, put those squares in a Ziploc, and then put them back in the freezer, and we will have apple crisp all winter long. So that's where we're at with that. I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Super easy. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell. It'll let you know every time we got a video coming out. And if you're enjoying our videos and our journey to our homestead, Please share it with all your friends and family. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for joining. See you next time. Bye.